Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. In the last year, I had made a video on MPSC Mains 2018 Civil Engineering exam. It's expected cutoff, study planning, strategies, and it was liked many of you, and our predicted cutoff was also very correct. And I got so many requests for Mains 2019 exam video. So here it is. In this video, we are going to discuss the study planning strategy for MPSC Mains 2019 civil engineering exam. The topics which will be discussed today are first, who should start preparing the MPSC mains? Because many students have doubt that shall I start studying or not with such less marks in pre-exam. So we will tell you with how many marks you should start prepare. The next topic that will be discussed is how many days do you have for your MPSC mains exam? Then classification of different subjects of paper 1 and paper 2 according to their difficulty level those subjects will be covered in topic 3 then i will tell you which notes or books you should refer then the study planning will be discussed next topic that will be covered is mock test strat strategy and its benefits in your exam and the last but very important one some important tips for mains 2019 exam so let's start with the video. So first of all, who should start preparing for MPSC mains? So if you are a male open candidate, open male candidate and your marks are 27 plus, you should start preparing. Similarly, if you are open female candidate and your marks are 22 plus, then you should also start preparation. Similarly, the following candidate students like SC male candidate with 20 plus marks, SC female candidate category with 16 plus marks, ST male category candidate with 15 plus marks, ST female with 10 plus marks and all other ca categories such as NT, OBC and others with 26 plus marks should start preparation. Now you may have a question in your mind that what will happen if I am not qualified for the pre-exam? But remember one thing, it's better to prepare for the exam than to lose hope. Because one more thing is that this time vacancies are also more and definitely there are chances that the cutoff will go low. And this study will also help and it will be beneficial for your upcoming exams. So just don't lose hope and first prepare your mind for the preparation and start your studies accordingly. Now, how many days you have for the preparation? Here I am considering that you will start your study by 15th of July 2019 and, will, and you will end your studies by 20th November 2019. So if you calculate the number of days, you have 128 days which you should use very effectively because there are 20 subjects for mains and if you calculated it properly, you will have just 6 to 7 days per subject. And in these 6 to 7 days, you should not only study the subject, but at least you should have 2 revisions of the subject. Plus, you must be able to give 3 to 5 mock tests before exam. So, how is this even possible in such less time? But don't panic. I have gripped all the subjects of paper 1 and paper 2 according to their difficulty level in 3 categories. In the first group, there are the subjects which are tough, hard, and will take lot of time and they are lengthy so i have kept the subjects such as strength of material structural analysis theory of structures rcc steel soil mechanics and foundation engineering environmental engineering fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines in the first group so there are nine subjects in this group the weightage for each subject in the exam is generally 18 to 22 marks means there are uh, approximately 9 to 11 questions so, but I am considering 20 marks for each subject that is I am considering that each subject will be asked 10 questions and the marks or the weightage for that will be 20 marks so the total marks for these 9 subjects in group 1 will be 180 marks in the second group there are those subjects which are medium level and can be studied in less time if you properly planned it so I have included 5 subjects in group 2. The subjects are pre-stress concrete, survey, highway, 
hydro and irrigation they are they carry 20 marks each so the total weightage of group 2 will be 100 marks now the group 3 subjects there are subjects which will take less time it's for its preparation they are easy compared to other two subjects so these subjects i have included in group 3 and there are six subjects in this group the subjects are numerical method construction planning and management building construction and material estimating costing and valuation tunnel engineering and the last bridge engineering so group 3 has six subjects and it will carry 120 marks if you observe properly you will see that there are six subjects in group 3 which are easy less time consuming and will give you full marks in the examination as the topics are also very less similarly if you observe group 2 subjects there are only five subjects in group 2 and those two can be studied and prepared if properly planned so group 2 and group 3 subjects combinedly will give you 1 220 marks and most importantly the subjects such as numerical methods estimating costing and valuation tunnel engineering bridge engineering these subjects have very less portion as compared to other subjects so plan your studies accordingly and it will be definitely beneficial for you in the next subject uh, ne next slide i will tell you which subjects you should study first but remember one thing the group one subjects will require more time they cannot be prepared just few days before the exam so start preparing for group one subject first and, simul and simultaneously take at least one or two subjects from group 2 and group 3. Now I will tell you which notes or books you should refer. First just keep in mind don't refer reference book as the time for preparation is very less and as I have said previously that the subjects are more and time is less so what you should do in my opinion you should refer postal study material of the classes. I have ranked different study materials of different coaching classes according to their quality. You can refer first IES master notes which are more than enough for your exam and if sub some subjects are not there in your notes of IES master then you can refer other subjects notes from the other institutions. Or you can go for made easy IES postal study material. Made easy notes are also very good which are also used for get preparation and the third reference will be third preference will be given to ace notes i am not saying that ace notes are not very useful or they are not as good as is master but i have ranked these notes from my point of view you can go for any of them but don't go for all of them because it may lead to confusion and unnecessarily money will also be wasted so choose any one of them wisely now comes the study planning what I have done I have divided the days in number of groups as I have said previously that you have assumed that you will start preparation from 16th of July and you will end by November 20th and you have 128 days so from 16th of July to 31st of July you have 16 days you should start preparation of group 1 subject first you should take at least one subject from group 3 subject and similarly I have divided the days in parts of 15 days or 16 days and you can see here group 1 subjects are less time consuming sorry more time consuming hard and lengthy so what I have done I have given 100 days for these subjects and simultaneously you should not only focus on group 1 subjects but you can go for group 2 and group 3 subjects also so what you do give 100 days for group 1 and simultaneously take one or two subjects of easy level or medium level from group 2 or group 3 in the starting 100 days you should only study and keep making notes in a diary and maintain it till the exam date now what you should do in last 20 days that is from 1st November to 20 November 2019 you must revise all these subjects which are prepared in your last past 500 days and you should give at least two revisions to the subjects you prepared 
and in the last week after your re uh, revision you should start giving the mock test of different classes now i'll tell you what you should what you what should be your strategy for mock test and what are its benefits first of all try to give test of every famous coaching classes because it will be very beneficial for your marks and uh, there are chances of uh, increasing your selection next thing is that we should keep in mind that you should give mock test at least one one week before the exam so that you can identify which subjects are lacking which subjects are weak which subjects feel you feel like they are new or which are which some of the topics you feel they are they are new and you should study them so all these lacks or loops can be identified if you give your mock test at least one week before the exam and then you can revise it accordingly the next thing is that try to give mock test of paper 1 and paper 2 on the same time as the mpsc will take the next thing is that it is observed that mock test will increase your chances of selection by 20 to 30% and it will improve your marks by 50 to 60 marks also try to observe the time you are taking for numerical questions as well as for theory questions and make exam planning accordingly now some important tips try to study at least 8 to 10 hours if you are preparing by yourself without joining any tuition classes and if you are joining any tuition classes then you should at least study 4 to 6 hours by yourself and whatever is taught in the class you should revise it on the same day itself don't accumulate the study revise it on the same day and yes it is also possible to study for 8 hours for example if you are waking up at 5:30 am and st start studying from 6 am you can study continuously for 2 hours then you will take a break of 1 hour in a day you can still so if you observe properly the time table you can still study 8 to 10 hours and you will still have enough time for sleep and other work so what i have done i have taken 2 hour study session and after each session i have given 1 hour break which is more than enough or you can uh, manage your time table or you can prepare your time table by yourself this is just for reference and still you will have much time to study and other activities so just follow your routine properly because your target should be 300 plus marks and one more thing that is very important tip try to make a short and compact diary of notes in which all the subjects can be fitted just try to fit all the subjects in one diary so that you can have more number of revisions in very short time and whatever you get and whenever you get time open the diary and read it and try to be self confident but not over confident and make yourself habitual of following the routine which you have prepared or you can join the library so that there will be no disturbances and you can focus on your studies properly so just join the library and whenever you get time try to solve previous year question papers also whenever you get time at least you half hour for that and make sure you go through each of the topic of syllabus because some of the topics if you miss some of them the questions may ask from from that topic so what you do go thoroughly from all the topic for all the topics of syllabus and most importantly revision is very important so try to have at least two revisions of full syllabus so this were the tips for mpsc main civil engineering examination 2019 hope you like my video please subscribe to unite coaching for more such videos share it with your friends and comment if you have any doubt best of luck for your examination thank you very much